Saka. In many different ways. In other Sakada, in other Sakada, everybody must know. Uh, is for example, you know, we are dancing and we want to do an ocho cortado, right? We do an ocho cortado. So you can do the ocho cortado anyways. But we're gonna, now we know how to do an ocho cortado, so look. Boom, pam. I take him to an ocho. Ocho cortado. Boom, pam. And then I can go here. And I start to tie everything. So we go again. So you do the ocho cortado the way you want to, but here you can sink a peg, boom. And you can go this way, which is cruzado system. Or you can go inside, or you can do the sacada. Sacada, ocho, more sacada, more sacada, taking it to a cross. Sink a bay twice and use the other bay. No, you can sink a bay in one or in the other one. I show you that when we try it. So what we do now is the ocho cortado, and here we do boom, sink a bay, cross system, take her into a cross. The one is ready, go from inside. Let's try it. Is it clear? Is that clear? <laughs> <laughs> slowly, one time, slowly. One more time, slowly. slowly. The ocho cortado. The way you always do. The way you always do, any way you want. But here, instead of doing that, I'm bringing her across. There, I do. Boom. Bam. Very simple. In close embrace, it's very pleasurable. Norberto, for example, invented a new way to end in the, this step because he followed the idea in tango is just not to do with somebody's show. Grab the concept, take a little bit, and finish it, move, modulate it as your body walk. The big milongueros are nothing other than the smart people who see, they see an step, their bodies cannot do it, like that guy. So he adapted, like Roberto, for example, did. In my, in the step I show is a secret, and now I show you Norberto's and it's easier. Roberto did this, and accompanied the woman, and he created a hero. Norberto did that. And it's perfect. And the critical point of this step, the critical point of this step is here. He continued with a round movement. He was continuing with a round movement. He step. And it went around. And in my step, I just walked into Maria. Look. This. It's the only thing I do. He continued with the movement. And go around. And I don't, I cut off the movement. Because I can get it here. And I start to do my thing. So remember, when you do that, you can do it both ways. Or this way. Or this way. If you can walk, you take two steps at home. But remember, do what your body tells you. You cannot finish the way I finish. Finish any way possible. That's the secret. That's what I mean. That's why the Milongueros dance different. And you think, oh, how different, how different, because they, they don't copy. In the older days, they couldn't copy because it was nobody who was doing it and telling them. They were creating things and saying, oh, what I can go, what I can do, what I can do. So feel free to explore that.